Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how to estimate and plot uh, difference in different estimator in R. And I will start with some background. So, difference in different estimator is uh, uh, it's used on a specific data sets. Uh, in a data set where there is two types of cross sections. Uh, it can be countries, it can be people, it can be banks, it can be uh, areas and two different uh, time periods. It can be uh, any set of years before and any set of years after. Uh, it can be two regimes or two set of years or certain events that have happened in the world before and after like financial crisis. So in the cross section groups, Zero can be the group which is not exposed to that event or the treatment or it has some specific characteristic. It does not have any specific characteristic. Or one is a group which is exposed to the treatment or it has a specific uh, characteristic. And in the time series groups, zero means before the treatment time and one is after treatment time. So it means this is type of a basic panel data in which there are discrete cross sections means two groups and discrete time series groups and they, they are also in, in interaction between them. So in simple words it is a simple panel data with two way fixed effects uh, with interactions Okay, so there are fixed effects from the both sides, but they are also interacting with each other. Okay, we will load the relevant libraries, uh, deployer, edit Excel, Tidyverse. So I will read my example data. So when I, when I read it, I will show you the data. This data includes country names, country code, here, broad money, GDP, and CPI. I have taken some sample data from World Bank. Then what I do, I create a COVID um, treatment variable. It's a time period. So I it used DF dollar COVID. It will be a treatment effect variable. If else, DF dollar here is greater than equal to 2019 1,0. It means when I do it, it will create a dummy variable for the year 2019 and above equal to 1, otherwise 0. So when I go in the data file, you will see that for the year, if it is less than 2019, it is zero, otherwise it is one. So this way, this is dividing my years into two groups, ones and zeros. Then I created uh, the treated group as uh, developed countries. So I made a list of countries which are developed. So I randomly written a few names of the countries which are considered developed and made a column and then created a treated variable which is equal to the country matching with the column of developed countries equal to one otherwise zero so if my column country data country is equal to column country then it will be one otherwise zero so when i run it it will create a new variable so if you see in the treated it is zero but if the country is developed it will be equal to one so it is it is dividing my data set into two groups zeros and ones so now I will create the interaction that is multiplication of two dummy variables. It means it will be equal to one if the country is developed and if it is after a COVID, after 2019, 19 and above. So when I run it, so I will show you what the actual difference in difference data should look like if you have already have it. Because in this example, I reverse engineered the data. So when I open it, it will be look like that. You will have two data sets. It can be cross-sectional data. And you have some two interactive variables. One is COVID and other is treatment and then DID. So this will be your data if you are actually working on some experiment. Okay, so one will be the treat, uh, observed experiment group and other is non-experiment group. And this is experiment st uh, start or before and this is the interaction between both. So when you go into, now I have to look at the properties of data. So STF one will tell you what the nature of the data is. When I do it, I notice that my three variables are in character form. So I have to convert it into numerical. Why they are character form? Because when you download it from the word uh, WDI, it, it 
it writes double dots in the empty cells so it makes the data character rather than numeric so when i do it it will remove the dots and add NAs. so it will convert the data into numeric form now i will use this df data and i do the regression for that i will do the dependent variable treatment dummy covid dummy their cross product dummy which is created here and then independent variables as per theory and then give the data file so this is code for simple regression when i run it and in the summary you will notice that it will go up so treatment has a positive effect so developed countries has higher um, dependent variable means higher money supply money demand and, and after covid there was higher money demand but did is negative means uh, after covid developed countries had a lower money demand okay and increase in gdp increase in money demand increase in prices reduces money demand in this data set so overall model is fit because that test is significant okay adjusted r is 30 13 percent and then now we'll go towards trying to see if the the if the the effect is if the lines are parallel or not or in other words does the treatment effect was significant or not so i will do the coefficient test linear hypothesis in the, for the model and the two hypotheses i've written here so treated plus covid variables equal to zero and did equal to zero it means uh, there is no treatment effect no covid effect and no did effect okay and when i do this so if i check for the test it is significant it means all three all three of the variables are not simultaneously zero but in the regression you can see that did was insignificant so there is no significant difference uh, when for for developed countries after covid as compared to developing countries after covid okay so what i will do i will uh, copy the coefficient names coefficient uh, values from the uh, model and it will be stored here as a uh, values then i will calculate log of gdp and then summarize the variables so that i can get the mean value of the control variables then i will calculate the uh, treatment 0 1 and then covid 0 1 outcomes so treatment 0 and covid 0 covid equal to 0 and copy it and then paste it here and covid equal to 1 similarly covid equal to 0 so i i am, I am estimating the dependent variable for all possible scenarios so when you estimate it it will calculate and uh, make sure that i am using zero ones because they were dummies and for the case of control variables i am using their mean values so you can uh, improve the outcome by taking the mean values of that group by by filtering the data but uh, this will also have reliable outcomes so when you do this and then you group it to a single data set and arrange it in a in a zero one form and then but you can plot the outcomes so using a gg plot it will take um, treat it as a factor variable and plot y in the estimated dependent variable on the y and color according to the um, event okay and then it will use the colors that, that you say and this is the position of the columns and it's a bit that you want to give then title so i will say difference Friends, estimator, uh, regression based estimates, and by the dash dash for difference in system estimate, and actually development group, and estimate and uh, recovered pandemic, and estimate dependent variable is this. So when I run this, you will see that there will be a graph. <laughs> So in this graph you can notice that uh, you can notice that the, generally the money demand is higher in developed countries but after covid the jump for underdeveloped countries is a little bit higher as compared to developed countries so 
but um, so this graph is actually telling you the meaning of difference in different estimator so you are actually calculating the differences between developed and underdeveloped underdeveloped and then you are also checking some other differences between the differences so this is why it is called differences in difference difference in different estimator and from that model we developed the panel data where we said that we can have more than two groups and there can be many uh, events that are continuous so we go towards panel data models like mixed effect random effect i hope you like the video you understood how difference and different estimator can be done thank you very much